It's about 9.15, FM 100 KISW. This is Steve Slayton with the sad news that John Lennon was murdered tonight. John Lennon was shot outside his hotel in New York City. They have the suspect. Who gives a shit, really? John's dead, but I thought... Uh, God, let's, sometimes it helps if you just talk about it. If you'd like to maybe call up and talk about uh, the Beatles or John or whatever, why don't you give me a call? 624-4305. Spend New Year's Eve in the Coliseum with the Little Red Rocket, Sammy Hagar. Okay. Well, let's see who's out there on Radio Land tonight. Hi, you there? Yeah. Well, Hi. my name's Chris. Hi, Chris. And uh, I, I, I heard you come on. I'm... I've been a Beatles fan since I was like about five years old when mm-hmm. I, you know, didn't know what the Beatles were. But, yeah. you know, I, I'm 18 now, 19 now, and and when I heard you fade out in in I Am the Walrus and you said that, I I couldn't believe it. I know. It's I don't know what to say. I mean, we lost Bonzo, and now this. You know, it's really hurt. I know, man. You, uh, I, it just makes you. Say you know why you know why why yeah. why why did why did this nut shoot John Lennon? Really, I you know it's, you know it's somebody shooting somebody's pointless in the first place. But he, he's what a local fruitcake they called him. The police described him as yeah a, a local uh, yeah fruitcake or something yeah. like that. Well, just yeah, and somebody is you know why 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 do they have to shoot him you know and he's, yeah. what what did he do bad to, you yeah. know the world he did something just fucking excellent excuse me but yeah. i know well listen chris thanks for your thoughts tonight man yeah okay, okay. bye-bye bye hi you're live on kisw hello hello you there hi. hi you're live on kisw what's your name this is brad hello brad uh, how you doing i'm pretty good Good. Yeah, it's pretty harsh about him, but I just want to say the guy that shot him up, the hanging bar's ball still dead. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Thanks, Brad. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Hi, you're live on KISW. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Jill. Hello, Jill. What's on your mind tonight? Nothing. It just kind of upsets me about what happened to him. Yeah. I just can't believe it really happened. I know. It's just like when the president gets shot or something like that. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks a lot for your th- call tonight, Jill. Yeah, I just hope everybody out there knows what's really going on. It's terrible. I know. I'll try and have a nice evening in spite of it. Yeah, okay. you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, you there? Hi, you're live on KISW. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah, what's your name? Um, John Bridges. Hello, John. How's it going? Well, <laughs> ask me tomorrow about this time. <laughs> yeah, really. I just heard just a little while ago that he died. Shot by some nut. I know. First Zeppelin by Sedez, now one of the Beatles. Yeah. I don't know, it's pretty yeah. weird. Yep, yeah. doesn't look good tonight, doesn't look good at all. No, why yeah. don't you play some, uh, uh, linen for, you know, for us to mourn by, kind of? Yeah. Yeah, we've been playing, John, we'll keep it up all night, I'm sure. All right. Thanks, thanks a lot, right. man. Bye-bye. Easy. Hello, KISW. Hey, Steve. Yeah. What's up? Well... I wish someone would tell me tonight. Yeah. Tonight I'm asking for the help. Kind of brings a tear to the eye, you know? I was bawling my head off, and my mom called, and, you know, and she said, you know, did you hear? And I, she she couldn't, you know, she, it's... she, you know, I was a beetle nut and stuff when I was being raised, and, you know, she called me tonight and said, hey, did you hear? And I said, you know, yeah, I heard. Well, I think deep down inside all, or, or are. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, why don't you play Imagine? Yeah, I played it once, but I think play it again. I think it deserves a couple of spins. Thanks, man. Okay, bye. bye. Hi, you there? Yeah. Howdy. What's on your mind tonight? Uh, I don't know. You got any good things to make me feel better? Well, uh, uh, we'll be playing. I just can't believe John Lennon's dead. I know. Uh, well, how do you feel? I feel awful. I mean, I feel really awful. Awful. God, uh, geez. I mean, I've had a... F- a few idols in rock and roll, and John was the firstest and the mostest. Yeah, um, I don't, um, geez, I just went out and bought a poster earlier today, and yeah. got in the new, got the White Album, and, yeah. and bang, I hear this right when I'm playing 
uh, high in the walrus, you know, and then I hear you guys and come right in the middle of it, and geez, yeah. just wasn't ready for it. Yeah. Well, hang in there. Thanks a lot for your call tonight. I appreciate you taking the time to call us up. Yeah, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. See you later. Hi, you there? Yeah, Steve, this is Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Um, you know, uh... Well, what are your thoughts on this grave hour? Uh, you know, it, it's grave. I, 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 first of all, you know, I, I'm, I'm shocked, of course, and, and all of that, but, you know, I don't, I, I don't think John Lennon's, they, they just don't come along, you know, I mean, there, there's a lot of uh, good music out there, you know, and, and, and we have a lot of fun with music and stuff, but, but, but when it affects somebody to the point that, that they feel that, that a person has to be killed for it, and, and no matter what this, this deranged person was, you know, mm -hmm. music, music is fun, but John Lennon's music was, was a lot more than that, to me at least, and, and, you know, you can't, you just can't say enough, I don't know anything like this since, since Keith Moon died. And I don't know if we'll see anything like it again. I, I think of John Lennon's death that's, you know, you've just about, that's about it, you know. I, I hope, that's right. I, I mean, I know you've got to feel pretty bad tonight, Steve. Uh, it's a pretty sad night for all of us, I think, you know. Um, well, the thing is, see, the Beatles have been the most po potent force in the history of music, right? Yeah. I think we can all agree on that. I think we can. The Beatles were the most potent force in the history of music. I mean, I love ACDC. I love Led Zeppelin. You know, I love the Who. <laughs> I know it, man. I know exactly how you feel, Steve. Um, it's it's an impossible feeling to put up with this this thing. But we we just. It, there's just no way to deal with the death of a man who who just put out a single called "Feels Like Starting Over," you know, and it's impossible for me to reconcile my differences yeah. with this, with you know this this yeah. damn idiot that went out and shot him tonight. I know. And if you do, you think um, you know he made he made so many statements in his in his life and and besides the Beatles, you know, even do you have a copy of the of the John Lennon Plastic Ono Band album there, anywhere? The, the one with with God on it and all yeah. that. Yeah, we got them all. Yeah, well, you ought to play. Um, you know, we'll be getting some music. You, you ought to play right the the first song on that album was called Mother. Yeah, and it, you know it talks about. I'll mother. get it on. I'll get it on. Bruce, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Steve. Okay, bye bye. Take it easy. Really, don't you know? It, it it's it's going to be tough to reconcile this weekend. It's going to be a it's going to be a damn circus out there with all. You know, let's let's get everybody's comment on yeah. this. But I just hope. The people that really loved it can weather it like, like, uh, like we should be able to. Yeah. I All hope right. we can. Okay. Thank, thanks a lot, Bruce. Bye bye. Good night. John was 23 years old when the Beatles did this. Billy Burnett will not be appearing tomorrow night, so Kid Africa will open the show for Steve Forbert. And we go to the telephone. Hi, you. You there? Okay. Hi. Howdy. What's your name? Todd Peterson. Hi. How are you doing tonight? Pretty good. Good. Well, what do you think? Well, it kind of makes you feel like dying. Yeah. I'm kind of a new Beatle fan. Uh-huh. I was too young to really like him. Uh-huh. They're around, but it's really a shock. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 15. 15. And what's your name again? Todd. Yeah. Really, I mean, uh, you didn't have to grow up with the Beatles to like him. And their, music, their music is timeless. People will be liking the Beatles, you know, from here on out. But I appreciate your call tonight, Todd. Um, could you play How Do You Sleep? Yeah, sure, I'll try to get that on. Thank okay, you. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, Hi, you're on the radio. What's your name? Uh, my name's Harry. Hello, Harry. Well, Harry, what are we going to do about this? I don't know, I'll tell you, it's really, really a shock. I got a, I got a four-year-old boy, and... For the last year, he's been able to tell you every every time the song is on the radio. Yeah. And if it's speedless, he can tell you. And he's going to grow up. And, and I just hope that they're going to mean as much to him as they did to me. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from, Harry? I'm from New York originally. Yeah. Down here in Tacoma right now. Yeah. But I tell you, I think that, you know, if 
if John could have picked a tie, I think that, you know, maybe this would have been the time he'd wanted because he took the last five years to get his life together. Right. You know, he, he was dedicating it to his family. And I, I think that... That's right. You know, he did this new album and he was planning this new tour because everything was just right for him. I think he found, you know, peace with himself. He figured out what he wanted to do and it's just a shame that it had to happen. Yeah. Just one of those unexplained things. Well, Harry, good luck to you and your family, and keep your chin up, man. Could you play uh, Working Class Hero? Yeah, I think that one uh, should be played tonight, definitely. That's, that's the ultimate. Thanks a lot, Harry. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. live? Yeah. My name is Paul Zahn. Hello, Paul. Paul. Away. Um, God, this is shocking, you know? I mean, How old are you, Paul? I'm 15. Yeah. So, you've been getting into the Beatles as... Oh, I've been getting into them a long time. Uh -huh. I've been used to listen to them a long time. Yeah. yeah. And, God, you know, when I heard that, it was just... It was really incredible, you know? I mean, like, I couldn't believe it. You know, it was... Uh, I heard it on TV, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it just... I don't know. You know? Yeah, they announced it, I guess, on Monday Night Football. And, well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody knew it by 8.30. Mm -hmm. I feel like I lost a brother or something. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. I'm 27 years old. And the last time I felt this... this strong of a shock at a death was when JFK was shot. And I was, t I was 10 years old then. And, uh, I mean, it was... It's no good. Just no good. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for your call tonight. Can you play Let It Be? Yeah, we'll try to get it on. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Okay, hi, you're live on KISW tonight. Hi, I want to tell you something that happened. It was really weird. I heard about it tonight that he died. Yeah. And um, yesterday I was talking to my boyfriend, and we were talking about how most of the bands, there always seems to be somebody who dies, you know, out of the good band. And my boyfriend, he goes, well, the Beatles, nothing's happened to him yet. And I was just joking around. I said, well, didn't you hear John Lennon died? And, you know, I didn't know anything about it because this was yesterday. And yeah. he goes, yeah, right. And I go, yeah, I'm just joking. And then I hear it tonight on the radio. Yeah. I really freaked out. Yeah, it's strange. You know, ten years ago it was Hendrix and uh, Jim Morrison and Joplin, and now it's been Led Zeppelin and the Beatles and Keith Moon from The Who a couple of years ago and Bon Scott and God. It seems to come in like 10-year intervals. I hope this is the last one for another 10 years at least. I just don't see why anyone would want to shoot him. Who knows? Who knows? There's so many nuts out there. Oh, he should be shot. Well, he'll be up for parole in five years. Well, hey, thanks for, ca for calling tonight. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, you're live on KISW. Hi, my name's Bruce. Hello, Bruce. How you doing tonight? Okay. Hey, I heard about it. It's really sad news. Yeah. It's been for a long time. Yeah. Well, do you have any profound thoughts for us tonight, Bruce? <laughs> Not a real lot, man. <laughs> I just hope that guy is put in front of a firing spot or something. Yeah. Killed. Yeah. You don't see how some jerk could go out and do that. Just go out and kill somebody for yeah. nothing. Yeah. We'll never know. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, KISW. Hi. Um, how are you doing? Okay, how are you? Um, not, not too good. Um, yeah, everyone's really sad about John Lennon. Yeah. Yeah, I, everyone thought I was too young to really get him to him, but yeah. I really wasn't. How old are you? I'm um, 14. Yeah. Yeah, and, oh God, I, I just had a brother that died, and I felt like, you know, it was him again and everything. You know, yeah. it's, just, it's almost the same. Yeah. Everyone, um, everyone calls, you know, and... It's like the same thing, practically. Yeah. Well, hang in there. Thanks yeah. for your call tonight. Appreciate it. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, you're live on KISW. Hi. Hi. How, how are you? Well, we're all in a bad mood tonight, I think. I know. We're all trying to cheer each other up, and I'm not sure it's working, but know, it's, it feels I... good just to sit here and talk about it. Yeah, I know. I'm 24, and I was... You know, like seven, eight years old, yeah. and I can remember him pretty well, and I feel really bad. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like I lost my best friend or something. Yeah. 
know. It's a bitch. I know. It's a bitch. Well, I just feel so angry. Like I'm starting all... to cool off now. That was my first reaction was I just wanted to... I just... Well, I was, I was ready to kill somebody myself. I know. I'm just kind of going through all kinds of feelings. I don't know what, you know. Yeah. It's well, really weird. Well, have a seat, and we'll play some Beatles and John Lennon for you. Okay. okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. So let's take a couple more calls. Hi, you there? Yeah. Howdy. Hey, Steve Slayton. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, I just want to say, man, everybody from my little brother to my grandmother likes the Beatles, man. That's, you know, a pile of shit. Listen, you want to do me a favor? Yeah. Play uh, She's So Heavy. I have an emergency call for 624-4305 from Mr. Klein. Do you want to play your line? Sure. Okay, I'll still call you. Okay. If he can get through us. Are you operator? Yeah. Why don't uh, I call him? Because he's going to have a tough time getting through, I think. Why? Are you business, sir? Well, we're a radio station. Oh, oh okay. Uh, great. Who's, Mr. Klein, what's his first name? I don't know. Operator? Hello? I'm still here. Oh. <laughs> uh, hey, well, maybe it's Alan Klein, the Beatles' old manager. Who knows? Yeah, anyway. You there? Yeah. Yeah. Can you play Sheets So Heavy? Yeah, hey, we'll try to get it on tonight. All right. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks, man. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Hi, operator? James Klein. James Klein? Yeah, do you know James Klein? No, I don't know James oh. Klein. Where's he calling from? I don't know. Is I think it's concerning the memorial for John Lennon. Yeah. I don't think this is really... Too serious? Uh... Hello. Oh, well. Wow. Typical, huh? <laughs> Hi, you there? Hey, yeah, I'm here. This is Lynn Springer. <laughs> I gotta tell you something about what happened to me today as we were um, working on our plays for school. Yeah. We were sitting, and I said, well, we were painting the sets, and I said, let's sing Beatles songs. And this is the 7 o'clock before anything new. And they're singing, like, all kinds of songs. I'm the walrus, uh, Helter Skelter, and I said, none of them's right. About five minutes later, I sang, um, let's sing A Day in Life. And we sang about, me and a friend, we're really hit on the Beatles, and we sang about three verses of it. You know, I read the news today, oh boy, about a lucky man who made the grade. Yeah. What a coincidence, huh? It's ironic. Yeah. I mean... It's meant to be, it seems like, that right after he starts singing again, like, nobody wants him here anymore, you know. He, I guess someone had it against him, you know, and he started, you know, I guess people were against him when he was, uh, you know, I loved him, you know, when he was, um, I don't know. It seems weird. I, I don't know, but I, I just have a feeling that, when when all is said and done, this this nut that shot him probably didn't even know who who he was shooting. I just have that feeling. I think uh, he probably just wanted to go out and waste somebody, and John happened to be on beat drugs him. or something. Cause it's it's such a coincidence that this guy is walking along the street and there's Lennon, and someone shoots him. That it it, it doesn't seem it seems that like that happens to the average man, not yeah. to a big star that yeah. everybody knows. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable. Now now the next thing is going to be people are going to want to outlaw handguns, you know, and that really doesn't have anything to do with it, but I don't think, but who knows. It's, it's um, I, didn't, I just I forgot what I was saying, you know, things go, I'm, you know, going down the road and I hear it on the radio, I'm over in SeaTac Mall and, you know, every, I hear you on the radio and all the shops and everything and, uh, I just, you know, i got to tell you what happened to me today, you know. I, God. See, I have so many friends in WSU that don't get this radio station or anything, you know, in Pullman. They just got this one little radio station, and they don't really hear about it. Yeah. Nobody knows, and they're all really, you know, they're Lennon fans. Like, we've stayed up all night and just listened to him sing because he yeah. means so much about everything he says. Well, listen, I appreciate you taking the time to call KISW tonight. And yeah, thanks for listening. Yeah, well, thanks for talking, man. Appreciate it. And don't get too down. No, <laughs> no, never. All right, thanks, bye. Bye-bye. Well, 
Let's listen to the words to this one and see what they sound like tonight. There's John Lennon and the Beatles at KISW.